South Korea's foreign ministry echoed the presidential office expressing grave concerns and regret over Japan's trade measure. The first vice minister urged Tokyo to resolve the issue diplomatically. Lee Ji-won shares with us his remarks. South Korea's Foreign Affairs Ministry has lodged an official complaint against Japan for its decision to go ahead with taking Seoul off its white list of countries with preferential trade measures. The ministry on Wednesday said First Vice Minister Cho se young summoned the Japanese ambassador to South Korea, Yasumasa Nagamine, earlier in the morning to protest against Tokyo's decision. Cho emphasized his grave concerns on how the decision came despite Seoul's efforts to solve the issue diplomatically. He also made it clear how Japan's trade restrictions on South Korea came not due to what Japan calls security issues, but because of the forced labor ruling, where Seoul's Supreme Court ordered Japanese firms to compensate Koreans forced to work for them during Japan's colonial rule. Chu said it is a clear economic retaliation that threatens the basis of Seoul-Tokyo ties. While urging Tokyo to withdraw its unfair trade curbs, the vice minister strongly urged Japan to sincerely come out for talks to seek an appropriate solution to the issue. To this, Nagamine simply reiterated Japan's stance and said that he will deliver Seoul's concerns back to Tokyo. Seoul's foreign ministry spokesperson also reiterated such concerns and regret through a statement. In strong words, he said he cannot but deplore that Japan carried out the trade curves that would negatively affect their economic cooperation, as well as the world's free trade order and regional co-prosperity. He then pointed out how Japan's unreasonable excuses and decision to ignore South Korea's request for talks does not help solve the situation. The spokesperson then said the foreign ministry urges Japanese government officials to be careful with their words so as not to hamper efforts to discuss and solve this issue. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.